Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yeah. We have. Do we have something exciting coming up? Office Bloke Daz? Do we? I don't know. <laughs> you? Uh, we got the game channel coming up. There you go. <laughs> mega, mega excited for it. Buzzing. <laughs> you yeah, sound we got, it. We've got Office Blokes game coming up. It's yeah. ready to start soon. Uh, Doing the compilation, what we do, we're compiling content at the moment. Let's say, mm -hmm. yeah, taking so, our time uh, with it, making sure it's good, sort it all out, making sure it's all right. Out, sure sure it's all right. Yeah. yeah, so that's what's happening soon. So keep your eye out for that. You can go over there and like and subscribe on that channel if you want. Yeah, yep. so you're it's ready. free. And Office Boat Daz's personal channel, which should be linked by now. Yep. And my personal channel are both yep. going to start having loads of content soon. I've got something new coming on that. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Go on. It's a segment called "What Daz My Head In." Is it and for Southerners? It's for Southerners, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's my head in, and it's about what things that do my head in. Yeah. And it's me just having a good rant and a moan about everything that does my head in, and there's a lot of stuff. That'd so be lots of content. I should get lots of, lots of content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So You're going to... Uh, yeah. so get on that channel, like, and subscribe on there now, if you don't mind. The first topic's going to be Stoke, isn't it? Just <laughs> <as> <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Do you know what does my head in about Stoke? Go on. <laughs> Fucking roadworks, you have to drive through there now, they put on there. There you you have to go, they've narrowed it down now to like 40 mile an hour to go through so, so you get the scenic view of the shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Taste the <laughs> Set him off now, Dave. Like, what have you done? It's not hard, is it? Scenic view of the toilet of Britain. <laughs> Snail's pace. <laughs> Yeah, they should speed it up when you go through, shouldn't they? Yeah. Uh, should put a fucking massive bridge over the top of it. Which <laughs> <laughs> a big tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha Laguerra. <laughs> There's no oh, point in having a husband today. This girl is funny. We've done one bit, haven't we? And yeah, I, first I just really one the day, wasn't it? it was yeah, just funny, I, just yeah. loved, I just loved everything about the, the whole performance, what she did for me. She's, she's definitely a top, top comic, yeah. in, my, in my opinion. Yeah. I absolutely love what she did the other day and when we watched the other day and then this is from the same set I'm guessing looks like so it. I just I'm one of them where if I don't watch it on here I'm going to go home and watch it because she is that funny yeah yeah, fair enough right well we'll get into it there's no point having a husband today Natasha Leggero let's do it by the way I would rather walk in on my boyfriend jerking off while hanging himself <laughs> than have him have one of those Call of Duty headsets on <laughs> That's one where you protect our country from your couch while you're eating a sandwich. I saw you nod your head, sir. How many hours a day? <laughs> Six. Six? Six? How old are you? Forty? When Napoleon was your age, he'd conquered half of Europe. So <laughs> just something to think about. <laughs> are you married? No. Men don't even want to get married anymore. Marriage seems like it would be the best deal for a dude. You could like get someone to have sex with you for the rest of your life, someone to find your wallet every day, close the cabinets behind you, pick up your socks. Okay, it would be one thing if guys would take off their socks and leave them on the floor, but they'll like pick them up and then put them by the bread. <laughs> I leave socks everywhere. Uh, it's the way of marking my territory. Sock man, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> all the time. Territory. All my clothes go in the washing basket. I take one sock yep. off as soon as I get home. One sock off with the big toe of the other foot then use the big toe to go around the other one and make a ball inside the sock and then flick it from between my toes to wherever it is in the room. <laughs> I'll do it for half live, eh? <laughs> Why are your socks by the bread? Oh, they're not all the way dirty yet. <laughs> I mean, I could see like a hundred years ago, because you see these TV shows now and movies and women are like, I'm 31, I have to get married. Like, I don't understand, what is the point? There's no point to a man. Like a hundred years ago, I got it. You had to get married. They wouldn't let women vote. They wouldn't let us read. We would, they would tell women if they read a college level book, it would shrink their ovaries. <laughs> like your dad would give some guys some land and some cows and you could just relax. And like, if you wanted a dress or something, you wouldn't get a job. You would just like twist your dimples and talk to your husband and act like a baby. Like, please, Mr. Sweetie, buy me a dress. <laughs> And then if he didn't give you what you wanted, you would just faint. Like, they had couches made just for fainting. If you didn't get what you wanted, you would just get the vapors and pass out. Now we all have to work. <laughs> all these dudes, no one wants to grow up. There's like these hipsters, so many hipsters in LA. You know these guys, they'll be like 40 years old, wearing a flamingo onesie, and like, Carrying around an old fashioned typewriter. <laughs> you got a monocle. Just like 
looking for pussy. Like, they're like calculated pros. Sorry if I'm calling you out, guys, but it's like they've all figured out girls don't want to fuck Polly D. They want to fuck someone who looks like David Koresh. So they've all like growing these like long beards like they think they're Ernest Hemingway. If Ernest Hemingway were alive, he would beat the shit out of every hipster. They would just... would just be trails of bloody hipsters outside every artisanal coffee shop and beard waxing facility. You know these people I'm talking about, like people who have to wear their coolness? Like, not me, I have style, that's different. But like, <laughs> you see these guys, they'll have like, like Mork and Mindy suspenders and like a tattoo of a parallelogram. <laughs> and they like can't light a pilot light. They can barely wave. They're like, hey, <laughs> I'm Beowulf. Okay, nobody's named that. <laughs> hey, I'm Nathaniel. Okay, uh, I'm sure your parents named you Nathan. In college, you were probably called Nate Dog. Nathaniel, that's like the name of a ghost. Not an emaciated barista with a Mr. Pringles mustache and a... <laughs> Gluten sensitivity. <laughs> Why do only hipsters get gluten allergies? Are they activated by American apparel purchases? I was talking to my friend. He was like 38, barely ready for pet ownership. We're having coffee. He doesn't have a job. And he was like, I think I'm going to get into pickling. <laughs> You should get into employment. <laughs> <He's Nice. funny. laughs> yeah. Is that what you were talking about, Nikki Glazer? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. She's uh, when I've seen her other stuff, she's been funny. She's yeah. done stuff with Jimmy Carr, mm. I think. No, I've right. seen she, her. British is mm. she or no, 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 she's, no, she's American. American. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah she was she's good. funny though, isn't she? Oh, it's actually Carol. <laughs> I yeah, think it's been good. Quite a uh, that reference towards hipsters and stuff, that's kinda of gone now, hasn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how old that was, but they, yeah, yeah, it's still there. It's still there. I think. Yeah. Because they absolutely, I lived in a lumberjack shirt until hipsters came along and they absolutely ruined it for me. Because <laughs> they, they were all been. wearing them. Yeah. Maybe I, it's not It's not the same image as, as what she's portraying there. Maybe it's moved on a little bit, but it's still, yeah. it's still there. Yeah. It's still that type of person. Yeah. It's still, you know, clothes might change slightly, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now they wear black t shirts with a. Uh, <laughs> OB, <laughs> OB on the side. <laughs> I got tired of saying to people, I actually own an axe and it's not ironic. You know, it's, it's not just on my wall. Yeah. It's not got to do with anything. Well, because they were all pretending to be lumberjacks, weren't oh, they? Okay. Oh, okay. That's right. the thing. Oh, so, okay. like, if they owned an axe. Wonder where you were going with that then. Yeah, I was yeah, like, that that. a bit random. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were threatening us. Hey? Yeah. I got my axe back last night. I'm just trying oh, to yeah. show off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're celebrating. Yeah. Well, I've not, the rest. I've not checked if my axes are in the shed. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get in there. But tonight, two o'clock in the morning, you'll find out. Yeah, or you'll find out. Sorry. Yeah, I'll find out. I'll find <laughs> out. Careful what you say there. But no, she's funny. I like her. Yeah, yeah she's do, funny. Yeah. She's good. Yeah. Axe style. Again, there's that kind of sarcastic, low energy thing where she's just kind of subtly being a bit of a dick about mm. people yeah. you know, which I like in a comedian sort of observational again as well isn't it yeah. picking bits up that you can sort of relate to again which Slight, is always good slightly yeah. angry certain, yeah. word, certain words she uses for me the way she describes people and the, you know she could she could get a little bit more aggressive for me and it'll be even funnier yeah, yeah. but it's, she's very very funny I, I like think, her a lot I think she'd possibly be good at roasting people you mm. know because mm. she seems quite like she'd zero in mm. on things you may be insecure yeah. about and just like rally yeah. on it. Mm. I love people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's been Excellent good. humor. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget, like and subscribe, please. It makes a big difference to us. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.